Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up and basically how to start recording gameplay or I don't know, screen recording in general, whatever you need it for. Okay, so to get started, I've got some scenes here. Those don't matter. We're going to make a new scene. It's going to be called scene two. You can type whatever you want here. Look, I just typed this. Enable preview, there's literally nothing. A void. So, to fix that void, we're going to add display capture. I like using display capture a lot because, I don't know, it literally takes everything on your screen, whatever you're seeing, whatever screen you set it for, and it just, it shows it in the recording. So now we've got this beautiful thing here. We got infinite thing right here. Capture method, Windows 10. If you're running something slower, probably this one, but I think Windows 10, from what I saw online, is the best. And then you can change the monitor. I'm going to leave it on my main monitor. Capture cursor, you probably want that so people know where your cursor is. Now, you got a problem. You got no audio. There's supposed to be audio here. So, we're going to add two things. We're going to get audio capture device, and then set that to your headphones so you can hear game audio, or Discord, or both, and then audio input capture. This is gonna get your microphone. I got two set here. This is my webcam, I turned it on for a joke the other day. Probably should turn that off. So now you got these here. They're capturing audio for you. There's nothing coming in for the computer stuff, but I'll just open a YouTube video up real quick. We're gonna listen to Peter Griffin, You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine. See, it's moving. <laughs> this is so stupid. We got this all set up, but now we got to set up two other tabs in your settings. All right, I'm going to make this big so that way you guys can see. Base canvas, I set this to be on my monitor size. Uh, output, also set this to be your monitor sky, uh, size. If you want to do like rescaling, you can do that, but I find that too complicated, so I'm not going to cover that. FPS, this is where you set it. I have mine set at 60. I think that is a perfect FPS to record gameplay or whatever at. If you're doing like, I don't know, tutorials and stuff like I'm doing right now, you probably would actually set this at something like 30. You're seeing this recording in 60 right now, but I'm using NVIDIA to record it. Output. Switch this. I actually made this mistake a bunch. Switch this from streaming to recording. So you can edit your recording settings. Set this from simple to advanced. I feel like there's a lot of stuff here. There's only a couple things that you really need to change. Recording path. Set this, you know, the folder you want. So I've got mine going to my files, then my game files, and then OBS recording. It's a new folder I created. So now it's going in there. So every single time I record, it's going into that folder. Recording format, MP4. MP4 for the win. It's literally the best. I don't know how to tell you otherwise. Video encoder. I have mine for my NVIDIA card, and it's H.264. H.264, I believe, is related to MP4 in some way, and it's just good. So if you have my, if you have an NVIDIA card, just use this, because honestly, it's the best. Audio encoder, I just leave this at default. I believe that's default. Rescaling, leave that disabled unless you're trying to do that, but I'm not going to cover that. Custom settings, I'll leave that blank. Automatic file split. I don't know what the heck this is. Just don't deal with that. Bitrate control. Set this to be CBR, which stands for consistent bitrate. Consistent bitrate is very good, so that way your recordings look smooth. So, I have my bitrate at 18,000 KBS. I don't know what the KBS stands for. It's some sort of <laughs> size. But for this resolution, 18,000 is the one you want to use. I think you can drop this down a couple thousand if you're using like 1080p or so, like a 1080p monitor and you're recording in 1080p. You can drop this down because it depends on the size. You can definitely Google this. I don't know off the top of my head. I might show it on screen. But for this um, resolution, I know that this one works pretty well. Keyframe intervals. Zero is auto. Just leave it at zero. Preset. Good quality. I don't do the max. I don't do the bottom. I just do good quality. I feel like that's a good spot to leave it at. Tuning, high quality. Multi-pass mode, single pass. Profile, leave this at high. Look ahead, don't check. Uh, virtual tuning, do check. GPU zero and max B frames, I think leave that at two. At least I have always left it at two. So now you are all set up to record. You just click your recording button or you set a keybind for that and it'll start recording. Like watch, voila. And then also, if you're experiencing a little lag, you can disable preview, and that will prevent it from lagging anymore.